Aloha everyone and good morning. Welcome back to Kaimana Conservation. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been here before, my name is Jessica. I'm a marine biologist that lives here in Maui in Hawaii. And today, it's once in a blue moon, Brian and I have a day off together. Um, so we're really excited because we get the opportunity to go out on a boat and do a fun dive at Molokini Crater. Normally Molokini Crater is really only something that you do with groups. So the fact that we're going to go out and do a fun dive, just the two of us, is going to be so nice and well-deserved. We've been doing a lot of hard work this year. So um, without further ado, we're going to get the car packed up. We're going to head down to the boat harbor and I will see you at Molokini Crater. Aloha guys, welcome back to land. Oh, there's water on the camera lens. Hopefully you guys can't see that. Uh, welcome back to land. Um, we had an absolutely awesome dive today. Not just because it was just the two of us, which is really nice, but the actual dive was fantastic. We saw everything. We saw all kinds of things. Um, we, let's see here. Oh, it's hard to even think back on it. I mean, there were so many different kinds of fish. We had big schools of fish as well as like lots of little pairs of butterfly fish. I had fish that were coming at the camera that don't normally. They're usually a, bit, a little bit more shy. At the beginning, you may have noticed that I had a yellowtail chorus male that was making faces at the lens, which was really cool crowning glory of the entire dive without a doubt was the manta oh my gosh um you see mantas at molokini crater you know that that's not common but it happens it's usually on the back wall and we were uh in the middle of the crater in the shallower part of the crater not only that uh, for those of you guys that know your marine animals may have noticed it was not a reef manta, it was a pelagic manta, meaning an open ocean manta. It was 
huge um, and those are much more unusual to see Ooh, it's getting heavy I'm switching you can tell by the pattern on their belly as well as the shape of those big pectoral fins or the wings um, and you guys probably weren't able to tell because of the footage and obviously we weren't right next to it um, but it was like 17 to 18 feet from wingtip to wingtip it was massive it was pretty high above us and you could still tell just how big it was um, there was a good size comparison there was an alua akea um, or a giant trevally jack that was swimming underneath of it the same way like remoras swim underneath of sharks um, and it was absolutely dwarfed by this manta the alua akea was about my size like maybe just like a little bit shorter than me but it was also a really big animal i would have been excited to see the alua without the ray um, but the fact that they were both together was so so awesome um, we also had uh, a couple of white tip reef sharks that were hanging around and got really close so you probably noticed it came right over that's when you just hold still and let them navigate um, but he was swimming around us which was really cool and it also was hunting for octopus inside of the reef um, so it was like shoving its nose into some crevices and it didn't get a hold of the octopus so we did get actually a chance to like get in closer and take a peek at that octopus it was pretty sizable um, but that that shark kept swimming swinging back by in order to uh, try and get a snap at the octopus it didn't get it by the time we got out but who knows maybe he got a meal after we left alrighty guys well we're back at the house I'm gonna get showered off I'm gonna clean off the gear uh, I'm gonna spend some time with my puppy who's currently chewing sticks on our outside couch um, and I will see you guys next time Aloha